Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to review the Cramps Bad Music for Bad People. Um, so yeah, really great album. Um, it's a compilation album and it was actually released without the band's permission, but it's still very classic and it's probably one of my favorite releases from them. So uh, let's get started. So the packaging is pretty simple. I love this album cover. So you have that guy, it's like, uh, it looks like he has like a cross of like a mohawk and like um, and a pompadour, which I guess is supposed to be like a combination, like, is a representation of psychobilly, which is a combination of punk rock and uh, rockabilly. So that's kind of a little interesting thing I've noticed there that I don't think everyone's ever noticed before. And he looks really sinister, really creepy. I always really like this album cover. This album cover is actually what caught me into the cramps. I saw this and then I had to listen to it. So yeah. So yeah, really cool. And then it says Crafts, Bad Music for Bad People. Excellent title too, by the way. It sounds really cool. And on the back, you have more really neat artwork. You got all heads right there. And then you have 11 songs on here. You have Garbage Man, New Kind of Cake, Love Me, I Can't Hardly Stand It, She Said, Goo Goo Muck, Save It, Human Fly, Drug Train, uh, TV Set, and Uranium Rock. So yeah. And then inside, you have that same artwork again right there. And then there's the disc. Really simple. Um, and then no background. And the booklet just opens up and you have that same picture again but with all the track listing and then all the credits right here. So yeah, there's actually no basis um, that's credited on this album, which is kind of weird. I don't know. So, um, so the first song on here, Garbage Man, is definitely one of my favorite songs from the Cramps. It's the first song I ever heard from them and it's, um, it's definitely the song that got me into them. It's a really catchy song and it, it's really fun. This whole album is a really fun and catchy album to listen to. Like, it's not like heavy or angry or whatever. It's mostly just like funny and I don't know, pretty like uh, I don't know. It's just a fun album to listen to. It's like it's like with the Misfits or something. It's not like overly aggressive or pissed off or um, you know, or like you're emotional or whatever. It's just really fun music to listen to. You know, like if you just want to like hang out or whatever, or, like and get a good laugh, listen to this. So yeah, Garbage Man is a really good song. That has really weird lyrics too. I don't even know what it's really about. New Kind of Kick. That's also a very good song. It has a really cool guitar riff. And uh, the lyrics are about like drugs or something. I don't know. But it's really weird. Like there's one part where he says like, like he, he's like naming all these drugs. And then he says like helium. But he says in like a really high pitched voice. Like as in if he did he, like he inhaled helium. So that's kind of funny. And yeah, uh, yeah, that's a really funny song. Uh, Love Me is also a really good one. It's pretty short. Uh, the production on that song is horrible. Since this is a compilation album, a few of the songs I'm hearing this are from the early recordings, and they're pretty. This, a few of them are pretty bad. Um, um, a few of these are from their album, um, their first album, uh, was a song called Lord Toss. I really wish I could get that on vinyl. I haven't found it anywhere. Uh, I've never cared enough to look it up since I've been really. I'm like I don't know. Like I've never cared enough to look um, on like. Um, beyond this, because I've never really cared for anything the Cramps did after Psychedelic Jungle, really. Because um, it's like, they got rid of all the B-horror movie elements, and then they just sang about girls for the rest of their career. But, I don't know. So yeah, Love Me is a really good song. It's really weird. I can't probably stand it. That's a really catchy song. It's really... Um, it sounds basically like your basic Rockabilly song. It's, it's a really good one. Um, it's That's another one of my favorites on here. Um, the next song, She Said, uh, it, it's really, really funny. Um... Yeah, like he makes like weird noises in the chorus and stuff, and I think you get the idea of what that means. Quite related to the song title. Yeah, she said the hilarious song. Uh, Goo Goo Mug, that's another really good one. Um, it, it like It's also kind of really, it's probably the most normal sounding song on here, other than those weird noises he makes towards the end of the song, uh, Wax and Terrier. Seems that he's dead too. He's a really good vocalist. Um, yeah, I really like his vocal style, because it's like he, like he makes a lot of weird noises and stuff, but he has a pretty straight singing voice, but... He all sounds kind of evil in a way. It's kind of cool. I really like his vocal style. Um, but yeah, Google Muck is another funny song. Uh, Save It is another is another really funny song. Um, it's not my favorite on the whole album, but it, towards the end you hear like heavy breathing or something. Um, and yeah, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Ooh, one of my favorites on here is, uh, and I love I like so many songs on this album. This is such a great album. Oh. Um, uh, Human Fly, that has a really, really good guitar riff, and almost like, I almost get kind of like a voodoo vibe from it, I don't know why, there's nothing to do with voodoo in that song, but something about that I get from that, I don't know, and his vocal performance, um, Lux Interior's vocal performance of that song is also very good, so yeah, that's a really good song, and it's also very lo-fi, a lot of the songs I hear are really lo-fi, which is one of the things I like about the cramps, so Human Fly is a really great song, 
Uh, Drug Train, probably my least favorite song on the album. It's just kind of a boring song as opposed to everything else. Uh, it's not as funny. I don't know. Um, ooh, TV set. That's another really great one. Another one of my favorites. That's a really good, um, just overall structure. Like, the song structure is really good. It's a really, it's really catchy, and it has a really, really, um, just good guitar riff. Like, there's a lot of good guitar riffs on here. Really good, really good, but just rockabilly guitar riffs. But yeah, it's funny. Like, TV set, the lyrics are about, he, like, he, he chops off his girlfriend's head and he puts it inside of his TV set. So it's like violent. It's one of the first times I've ever heard violent humor from the Cramps. But yeah, they do violent humor like misfit style, I guess. So yeah, he, he sings about chopping off his girlfriend's head and putting it inside of his TV set and watching TV. So yeah, that's really funny. Oh, Uranium Rock Bones? Okay. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they could put a stronger closer at the end of it. Uranium Rock and Drug Trainer are honestly the only songs on here that have never really been my favorite. I don't know, that one's alright, and it's basically, I don't know, Uranium Rock is just kind of standard Rockabilly song, there's nothing really special about it. But overall, um, fantastic Psychobilly album. Uh, it's a compilation, and it was released without the permission of the band, but over the years it's gotten so classic, and it's, uh, in my opinion, since it has most of their best songs on here, if you want to get into the Cramps, this is a great place to start. This is the only release I have from them, but like I said, I do really want to get the songs of Lord Taught Us, because that's, that's, like, their most... That's probably their second most famous album, but I really just freaking love this album cover. But yeah, this, um, Sons of the Lord Taught Us, and Psychedelic, Psychedelic Jungle, and uh, Greatest Hits EP. Those are my favorite releases from the Cramps, but I don't really care much for anything they did after that, because they got rid of the horror movie elements, and it all kind of is the same. But yeah, I just love this album. It's really, really fun to listen to. Um, yeah, I've had this for about a year, and it hasn't gotten old. This album doesn't get old. And it's, it's just really funny, and yeah, I listen to this a lot around Halloween. Really, really funny album. Just really good fun. Um, yeah. So, if you're into any kind of punk, really, I would definitely recommend this album. If you're into classic punk, get this. Even if you like hardcore punk, like, when I, when I got into the cramps, like, um, I was mostly listening to straight up hardcore, like, Minor Threat and Black Flag, um, and the Circle Jerks, and then and, and Agnostic Front. And then I just discovered this band, and then I was like, huh. It's like, it's kind of one of those bands that that just are easy to like. They're really easy to like, and they're really great. They're a little bit of an acquired taste. Like, the first time you hear it, it's like, eh, it's alright. And then it kind of grows on you. But they're really easy to like as far as, like, once you're into them. Like, listen, when you hear a song, and you think, like, this is a good song, that's a good song. So, yeah, overall, great album from The Cramps. Compilation album, Bad Music for Bad People. Badass title, too. I always thought that... Um, album title was really cool, and the artwork is just probably one of my favorite album covers ever. So, yep, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later next time. Um, bye. I messed that up at the end so bad. Whatever, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.